Then you have the next lesson that some people deny, but no need to deny. We are not in the primitive ancient days where people does not understand, people do not understand technology and science. You have where his heart was cut open. Huh? Jibreel alayhi salatu salam took out his heart, washed it with zamzam water. Some hadith says that Jibreel alayhi salatu salam brought two jars from Jannah, two little containers. One had iman and one had hikmah. Iman means faith, hikmah means wisdom, and hikmah is also translated as science. Because the Prophet ﷺ was going under a spiritual and scientific journey. The Burak, spaceship. He was going out of space without the spaceship. That's very scientific. Nowadays, with the technology in the world, people cannot deny that. There are people who do not believe this was a physical journey. But brothers and sisters, listen. Listen to this carefully. A piece of metal flies nowadays, called an aircraft. You mean the angel with the Prophet ﷺ? Who was he, the Rasul of Allah? We all believe that Sulaiman ﷺ fly, didn't we? Do we believe that? Last week we spoke about that in the khutbah. Mm -hmm. Not last week, before. Jews believe that. Christians believe that. In the Bible, in the Torah, in the Psalms, in the Quran, we were taught that Sulaiman wasalam, Prophet Solomon, Prophet Sulaiman wasalam, Allah had gave him the ability to control the air and he could have fly faster than a craft that flies five to six hundred miles per hour nowadays. So if he could have fly, why couldn't the Prophet go out of space by the Qudrat of Allah? Because Allah is saying here, Subhanallah, the Asra bi Abdihi. Glory to Allah who took him on this night journey. Some people say, well, it was only uh, the Burak, they believe he went physically from Makkah to Jerusalem. But that did not happen. He did not ascend. Listen, well, I, I, I wonder, was he asleep in Jerusalem? How did he? And he fell asleep in Jerusalem and he started to dream? No, in this technological world, we believe in the Quran that Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, the ocean was open for him to walk through. Don't we believe that? Everybody believe that. Christians and Jews believe that. Muslims believe that. Allah opened the sea for Moses and the thousands of Israelites to walk through. So Allah couldn't open the ocean, I mean the, the space for the Prophet sallallahu to go through? Come on. Does it make sense? Musa wasalam, went through the ocean physically, bodily. And the thousands of Israelites went bodily and physically. The ocean was open. So the Prophet wasalam, why it couldn't happen to him to go to space? Huh? And this is not no similarity and Nancy story. These are incidents we believe. 